Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to make the last part of the previous two videos. I'll try to summarize as much as possible to how to make these uh, compelling abstract diagrams. I'll try to make it short so that we can finish early and then we can get started with some other new projects. Let's get started. So in our previous videos, we made these icons and some of these icons here. Uh, we can pretty much use these again and we can start uh, making this, this one. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to show is like, uh, so we left from this diagram, we left this part. This is pretty much easy. Uh, it's just uh, like some simple squares. I can just show you quickly how you can do that. So again, you just use squares like this and then you can reduce the width like this, height like this, and then you can just place like this now and then control shift another one down and then something like this and then you can easily make th this diagram with just some simple uh, graphics uh, uh, like simple just just simple shapes and then if you want to make something from the middle you can just use this shape and then simply you can give it a pattern uh, fill here you can go here pattern fill and you can choose whatever you want so you see this is uh, this is just simple easy okay and I will uh, not go into detail to how to make this one which is much easier for this particular diagram this is made in R using some data I'll show you how to do that and so far as these icons are concerned these are just simple uh, things what I've done what I've done is like I've taken simple uh, icon for let's say a simple shape or a Bitcoin uh, logo and then what I've done is I just re replicated uh, these at different places some at some uh, in a big scale some in a small scale something like this and you can just replicate them as you want okay so this is simple so I won't go into much of detail here uh, which is easy and straightforward now let's get started with this one this is something uh, which needs a lot of work so what I'll do is I'll just put it here and then this is an image I'll re remove it I'll go back and uh, pick up some icons from here which we made in our previous videos if you haven't watched my previous videos go and watch part one and part two it covers how to make these icons very easy and simple way so let's just copy here and we'll aim to finish this uh, in this video so that we don't have to go over and over again. So now we have a stock pile of information like we need, we have everything that we need uh, apart for a few things which is like wind speed. So we can get some icons from here. Let's go here icon and then let's say speed. Okay, if you if you can see like this, it's great not then you can go like maybe type in wind. You will find something. Yeah, here we go. So here it is. You can use whatever you want, different types of icons, and then simply, uh, again, the same same rule applies here. Copy this shape, paste here, bring it down, and then send it to back. All you have to do is like go to shape format, change the shape color, and then choose different one. Now, if you see, this one has a different color because there's a transparency. You can just go simply press zero here, and then close it. And you wanna make simple, uh, exactly like that. Make the icon a little bit bigger, change its color to white, and then you're done, and voila. And then all you got to do is like copy this paste here and all you have to do is like I type in wind speed. So sometimes I type in within the diagram within the block sometimes I type outside the block is just because how it looks better uh, in each case and that's how I try to balance it and I make sure that everything that I use uh, gets uh, equally balanced out so you don't have to worry a lot about the uh, other stuff. So in this one I'm going to use the sun from here. We can also use the sun from elsewhere, but since it's here, we don't want to uh, make it hard for us. And then again, this color is a bit different. We can use this one and then, or maybe select this one, go here, use eyedropper and change the color. Okay. Once it's done, you go here, uh, make it a little bit bigger. Okay. Just enough so that it doesn't cut off the text and then change its color to golden as you want. And then we can call it, uh, bring it here something like this capacity factor and then change its font to white and then we are done okay uh, since it's a little bit like this we we'll just move it there and then let's just move it here a little bit down okay so this is easy okay simple and simply you can do this uh, pick this icon here and then make another one like that this one is already there it's not much of a difference uh, it's all like connecting lines if you want to connect lines it's easy and simple all you got to do is like use this shape connect this one and then this one and then go to shape outline increase the weight and then you can increase the weight whatsoever you want you can also customize it uh, with the point that you want you can increase it as much as you want 
uh, I'm not sure the words uh, upper limit but you can do uh, however, however you like it and then if you want to change the color of the line you can just simply click here and then you can change the line okay so I'm gonna give you basic ideas okay how you're gonna work around now rest of the things are just the same okay there is no much of a difference all so, uh, same icons nothing different uh, it's just like aligning these things together so now if you see this one it's just a simple shape all you gotta do is like use this shape uh, make a square make big square and then all that information that comes in is just text okay now let's say we want to include this one inside and we have this one here let's just copy this one I'm gonna move this one a little bit here bring it down bring it down here and then probably like this make the shape like this and then bring it here okay since this is not grouped together right now so I'm gonna group it so that it's easier to move it group it bring it here I know you can't see it so I'm gonna send this to back so when you send send this to back I'm gonna move these here so that we have enough space so that we can work on our uh, uh, project here okay now let's just uh, make some enough more space here uh, okay you can if 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 it's hard to move with a uh, cursor you can just simply use arrows uh, to make it more smooth you can change the curvature here as much as you want uh, it's better to have small and consistent one so I'm gonna use a consistent uh, one here and then again like this now you want to change the color for this one go here eyedropper and then this change voila it's everything is done so easy and simple right all you want to do is like now if you don't want to include that one inside you can just keep it like this if you want to change the color you don't like this one you can always change the color to whatever whatsoever color you want right now it has something which is called transparency on uh, which is why it's, so it doesn't have transparency on so all you can do is like change the color uh, in whichever format you want okay so this is how it, easy it is okay simple and easy diagram now one thing that was left which I can show you right now to make is uh, that heat pump icon here okay let's just focus on the heat pump here uh, this particular diagram here heat pump I'm gonna show you how to make this one okay very easy and simple all you gotta do is like take a square make a big square like this I'm gonna make it bigger so we can work uh, on this one later on so let's say take an eyedropper choose a color okay done now all you gotta do is like take a circle make it like this bring it like this so this is a diagram of a heat pump this is not from my own thinking uh, on my own creativity it's just like I look at a diagram and see what kind of icons it needs and then I just go about that and then now let's go uh, for the other part we need is like uh, let's just give it a color first go here and then we'll try to make it from scratch okay so it's easier for you to understand uh, so go here undo control shift and drag it with the right click make a small icon here in the middle okay and then give it a color let's say this color okay ah yeah this color is fine one thing you can do is like select these two icon align align middle and then align to center so it will always be in the center of the diagram now we want to make something like this we want to make sure that we have something in a curvature form let's go insert icons and then let's say uh, we click on danger okay so in danger icons there are different icons let's say this is the best one that we want okay so this is the, let's say this is the icon we want okay and we want to create this icon by ourselves let's say we're gonna do it something like this so let's bring it to front now select this icon select this shape go to gra graphics format go to okay let's first convert this to a shape first now control shift and G you ungroup it now you select it, shape format, merge shapes, and now you do fragments. Once you do fragments, all you gotta do is like remove this one, remove this one, and here we go. We got these two icons here, okay? Now we don't need this circle anymore. We use this, increase the size, bring it inside, okay? And now let's just change the color. Change the color to a lighter color so that it's more visible, like this. Uh, let's just give them outline. Make it black, let's say, use here use the black outline okay perfect and now all we gotta do is like make these lines so use this make it like this shape format shape outline weight increase the weight if it's not good enough let's say let's go for eight now one two three copy as many as you can okay just to give it a nice outlook and now all we gonna do is like we wanna make sure we are in line and then select all move a little bit on top 
and then arrange align distribute vertically so once it's done all you gotta do is like reduce this one at the end like this and then maybe use it like this to create a dot effect okay now this is just a kind of an effect that we wanted to make okay and all let's say if you want to make 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 it short uh, hold on let's say if you want to make it a little bit shorter what I'm gonna do just for now is like I'm gonna move it here okay now this icon is done okay group it and then you can use it wherever you want okay now the thing that I told you previously like if you are using a thicker line once you reduce it it won't scale as expected because of course you are using a thicker line in a smaller area all you can do is like maybe go about like this okay use it like this 2.25 and then okay it's done so this is how you can do it okay simple easy simple tricks okay and now one more thing that i'm going to show is like how to make these long arrows very easy nice it's a trick that i use uh, so i'm going to share with you guys as well so let's say you have one of this icon okay what what i do is like i first firstly do something like this okay i break it apart into two shapes okay so that i can easily merge and i can do whatever i want so first of all i do is like this fragments okay now i have fragments what i can do is like i can play with it but with i can play however i want okay so now let's say i have this icon first of all i'm going to rotate it like this and then rotate it like this now let's say i want to i want to draw something from here up till to this one so i'm going to ro rotate this icon here move it here okay it's done let's zoom in a little bit okay drag it here you see it's aligned all you got to do is like extend it and then combine this one here so once it's done you select all these two and then this one uh, give it a no outline and then just give a different color here we go so that's how simple and easy it is okay okay let me just zoom in that's how simple and easy it is you might feel like it's a little bit away but it's not it's just how it zooms in and looks like okay great uh, well this is all from this video and this series uh, not this series like all these three parts and I hope you guys like this video if you haven't watched any other videos uh, if you haven't watched my previous videos do watch them it's very helpful and informative if you have any questions if any co comments any concerns uh, or if you want to learn something new just let me know uh, put your comments down below and, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible if you have any other suggestions please feel free to comment down below I'll see you in the next video till then take care Allah